I hate weekdays. Hey, Joe! <laughs> All right, Kettle. Do you want me to boil some water for you? Yes, please. <laughs> tea wouldn't be tea without a bit of the old hot water. <laughs> Cos we're fly so high Making tea, making tea in the sky You're two sugars and I'm half a sugar Cos I'm on a diet that's why I love you. I'm hot, 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 and ready to pour. I was going to get a cat, but, you know, I'm allergic. Animation's great. Take DreamWorks' new animated tale, The Croods. It's about a prehistoric family who ups sticks in search of a new cave. It's basically like relocation, relocation, but with the added threat of dinosaurs. Your go. The Croods is set when dinosaurs and people supposedly live side by side, which is a lie, obviously, whatever, and deals with the universal issues like fathers and daughters winding each other up. New is always bad. Never not be afraid. Ugh. You really need to see this. <gasps> we should go there. No. Go! Kettle, where are you? I'm washing the net curtains. Ruddy love that kettle. Animation films are like those plastic rulers you had at school. Flexible. They can be dubbed into any language and they don't star actors you hate, which is less like a ruler. Films set in London aren't really London in animation land. They're London-like. You guys need your chimney swept. No, thank you. Already spotless. Shizzle the mizzle. What? <laughs> oh, that's a great thing about animation, lad. It's inconsequential. <laughs> but we're affected by animation sometimes more than with live action films. Why is it that scenes like these are such tear jerkers? Bambi's mum biting the bullet. The innovative Toy Story made grown men cry. Not me, obviously. With animation, everyone's allowed to explore emotions without prejudice. Like laughing at flaky pastry. <laughs> but the end of the day, don't have a kettle. Oh, good timing. Some people get so attached to inanimate objects, don't they? See ya. Because we're fly so high, making tea, making tea. Sky. You're two sugars and I'm half a sugar